Many of us have different hardships in this life, but I want to tell you about the greatest blessing one can have in this life. Bismillah, walhamdulillah, wassalatu wassalam, ala rasulillah. Now that if you're Muslim, be grateful. You have the greatest blessing one can have in this life. Hence, one should exert his utmost effort to protect his proper belief and not commit what causes one to become a non-Muslim. Whether because of a blasphemous belief, such as attributing created attributes to Allah by believing that God has a form or shape or size, or attributing sitting and movement or rest to God, or by attributing a place to God, whether by believing that he is on the throne or in the sky or other created attributes. All of this is blasphemy because it is resembling God to his creation. Muslims believe that God is not like his creation at all and he exists without a place as he existed before creating places for God does not change. Or whether a blasphemous action such as throwing the book of the Quran in the trash or stepping on a piece of paper that has the word God on it or any other blasphemous action or whether through a blasphemous saying such as cussing God or the religion of Islam or any of the angels or any of the prophets. The person who falls into blasphemy kufr should immediately return to Islam by saying the two testifications of faith without delay. One does not know when he will die. The person who committed blasphemy does not ask God for forgiveness while on kufr because this would be belying the Quran. Allah Ta'ala said in the Quran, so the person should immediately first utter the two justifications of faith. No one is God except Allah and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. I'd like to hear back from you. Are you sharing these lessons with how many people? Make me happy. Leave me a comment below.